I'm Don Goodrow with Prudential Verani Realty. I'm here with Greg Colby, who's an appraiser and a realtor. How are we doing, Greg? Good. Good. All right, why don't you give us an update on um, where things have been over the last year or so and where you think they're going in the uh, appraisal business? Well, there's been a lot of foreclosure work. Sorry about that. Um, <laughs> we're starting to see a lot more traditional refinancing with the interest rates down around the threes. However, not a lot of those are working out from what I understand. So, you know, there's going to be, as long as the interest rates are down, there'll be a lot more refinance work. Yeah. But purchases have been slow. Foreclosure work has been up. So, would you say, um, what companies that you work with? Wells Fargo, um, U.S. Bank, Bank of America. Yeah. LSTD Bank North. Now... I'm going to look at this like a third grader would. Explain to me, you know, does, is every appraisal the same or are government ones different? How are they, how do they differ? Um, they differ by assignment, basically. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. the, if you're an FHA, that's an entirely different appraisal. Um, it's much more involved. It's more like a home inspection. Yeah. Much tighter parameters. Um, conventional loans. If it's a full interior inspection, it could be a full interior inspection, which would mean that you go through the entire house, do a sketch of the house, actually view and test the systems, where, or it could be an exterior inspection where you simply just drive by the house, take an exterior photo, or it could be a desktop yeah. where you use public online information the best you can and try to come up with a value from that point. And do some of these appraisals, uh, do they ask you as an appraiser to do like a cost for cure? At times, yes. Yeah. If there is work that is incomplete, if it is a construction project in the works, or if there is just deferred maintenance on the home that has not been completed, there may be a cost to cure necessary. Okay. Very interesting. So you've been doing that quite some time. Eight years. Wow. That's how long I've been in real estate. So we started around 03, probably. Yeah, I did my first appraisal in 2002. Yeah, so you just, yeah, right in there. And that was just about when the market was starting to go bonkers. It was very busy at that time. There was a lot of appraisers, a lot of apprentice appraisers at that time. Um, I know when I renewed my license in 2008, renewals for the appraisal world were down 20 to 30% at that time. Yeah. So a lot of those appraisers are no longer here. So when it was a good, strong seller's market, like 2003 through 2005, you weren't getting hardly any bank ones, were you? No, very rare. Yeah. And so uh, it was people that were financing brand new home sales, like 90%? A lot of, of home sales, and there was a lot of refinance at that point because people's values were climbing so fast that they were pulling the equity out of their home, Yeah. which is part of the problem we're in today. Hmm. I see. Now, uh, how... I heard that there was some changes in 2010 for like Fannie Mae. Is there certain requirements as far as like how you deal with short sales and bank owns when you're considering values of like just a regular transaction? If we're doing a regular transaction, we try to as much as possible stay away from any sale that may be subject to a short sale or a bank owned because generally they're selling for a little less. The banks are trying to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. um, so if you can, you use as many traditional sales as possible. In some markets, that's not possible. Yeah. So therefore, it kind of that is the value in that market. If it's predominantly foreclosure market in that certain town, then it will lower the value of the town. Yeah. So do you do um, a lot of BPOs, uh, broker price opinions, or do you do more full-blown appraisals? I've done a certain amount of BPOs, but mostly appraisals. Okay. And do you see any benefit for like a home seller that's putting their home on the market of why they might want to do an appraisal in advance? To get over the sticker shock. Because yeah. when the realtor walks through the door and says, I know you were told three years ago that your house is worth a million and it's only worth 600000 today. If they'd had an appraisal done, they would know that ahead of time and they wouldn't be having to have the argument at the kitchen table over how come my house is not worth what I even put into it. Yep. So I'm thinking, okay, so the Joneses, they, they list on May 1st. They have the appraisal in advance 
and then they get it under agreement June 30th, can they transfer that appraisal over? Usually no. Okay. Usually, unless you're an approved appraiser for that lender, they will not take that appraisal. Okay. So you're going to end up with another appraisal. I see. So this is more for someone, a home seller, that they think you're way off in your market analysis as a realtor. Correct. And this just says, well, you know, spend the few hundred dollars to get it an official appraisal. I see. All right. Well, is there anything else that you can think of that people should know, the general consumer for 2010? Just be prepared that the market is not going to change for a significant amount of time. The foreclosures are still coming. Mm -hmm. um, I can tell by the work that I did that there's a lot of shadow inventory out there, meaning there's a lot of homes that are nearing the foreclosure point that have not even surfaced yet or haven't been taken over by the banks but are behind. A lot of my appraisals in the past 12 months were valuation checks on homes that were behind. Mm -hmm. Probably did over 200 in the last 12 months in just New Hampshire alone. Yeah. So that's a good, and a lot of those I've seen from the first one or two valuation checks that I've done on them go into foreclosure. I see. So, you know, they were all nearing that point. Some have come out of it and stayed. Others have gone into foreclosure. Do you do appraisals on like loan modifications at all? If we do, we don't always know that's what it's for. Oh, okay. Um, the assignment may come over and the assignment type might say other. Mm -hmm. Doesn't tell us whether it's for a loan modification, whether it's for someone who's behind in their mortgage. So it really depends on what the bank is doing for. We don't always know why. All right. Well, this video is going out and uh, there'll be some, you know, knowledge out there for people if they want to contact you. So what's the best way to reach you, Greg? Best way to reach me is through email. It's gwcolby at hotmail.com. That's my appraisal email or you can call my cell at 603-781-9564. Very good. Well, that's it for now and thank you for visiting the site and we'll see you later. Thank you, sir. Yeah, no problem. Okay.